Night City. V. You're V, right? You find the data bank? Someone's back in tip-top shape. Trauma must have put you back together in no time. Yep. Good as new. Still, if not for you, wouldn't have been anything left to put back together. Never got the chance to thank you properly. Wasn't there someone else with you? Big guy? Whenever you get a chance, tell him I said thanks. Uh, Jackie's, um... Sure. I'll pass it on. Knowing Jackie, though, he'd probably take that as his cue to ask for your number and call you up for a date. But that'll never happen, because he... Jackie, um... Never mind. Sure you got a lot on your plate. Is everything okay? Sure, yeah, of course. So, did you find my data bank? Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was gonna go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scabs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You wanna talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data back to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. It's me, V. Got your data bank. Sandra, you in there? Are you alone? Can anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My, uh, friend told me your memory would be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Um, n no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? All right, you got me. I looked inside. I know everything. That's what I thought. So what's your next move? To congratulate you, of course. Anyone who hacks Night Corps earned my respect. Oh. Well, I, um, thank you. You know, if they end up going through with it, then... The net will become even more dangerous. You were worried they'd find out about you. Exactly. Night Corps secured up the ass. Can't just upload the usual blackout and fire shaft. You must have whipped up some angry demons. You zip them up in an amp? Yeah, Leviathan. Even Cerberus isn't enough if you want to punch through that kind of corpo ice. 
Using AGI to condition workers' minds. Mm, that's some supervillain shit right there. Not just workers. Anyone. That's the scariest part. You've been a big help. Here. I threw in a little extra for a fellow runner. It's good to be reminded I'm not in this fight alone. Thanks. Be seeing you. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, Shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Feeling better? You look better? I'm on autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem-tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and Clouds? 
Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles her. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! <laughs> Gotta do some v? cardio! Nice work, Judy. I did yourself. If you were to sell that, you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. If you've got something to say, just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. <sighs> happy now? I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. For the third consecutive year, Militech... Let's get to it, then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. And implant acquisition assistance. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him on the street, like, while well, he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in a back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? Probably crawling with guards. Hiromi don't go anywhere without security, so one, makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. 
You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy! For real? No. Don't want to hear it. But you- uh, uh, uh. Not a word. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. No. Oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? way she looks at you, don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. I think it was here. Won't take long. Oh, hey! Hi! Hey, how's it going? Not coming? Not really my jam, picnics. But you have fun. 
Spinning a new song anyway. Rather focus on that. Glad you're here. We need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This is an ancient Ward family secret. Uh huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Honestly? I thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Or that Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... Oh. Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. How's Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly Basmati. fit the mold. nice. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? That's great, because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. You've been wonderful. Huge help. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk again soon. Really nice of you to come. Thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. I was all river. I just helped. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy don't had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's out back. You know, he can't seem to stop gushing about you. in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. 
Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now, about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. How my parents died. Now, oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. Mostly, I remember my ma crying. My dad swore they'd found all we had. One was gassed out of his mind. He fired first. Blew half my dad's skull off. Jesus. River. I'm sorry. He was erratic. Went rabid. Handed me his gun and ordered me to aim it at my mom's head. I can still see her tear-filled eyes at the end of that barrel to this day. What did you do? Nothing. I stood frozen. Finally, he just snatched the gun back. Shot my mother and they left. Police never caught him. That was why I joined the force. I couldn't agree with scum like that Roman free. No one to hunt him. Was Joss there too? Saw all this? Mm hmm. I think when she looks at me, she still sees that boy holding a gun to her ma's head. I can't tell you how sorry I am. So when I stood over Harris in that hospital bed, barrel to his brow, I was that kid again, but I was also the junkie who shot my parents. I understand. I've ended a few lives in my time, but never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good, but when now? You're not going back to the PD? P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? We'll Uncle see. River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. Well, what do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. 
I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah! Me too! Oh, I've heard of cops like you. The lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time. Retired two times. And kicked off the force three times. I'm getting too old for this. But something always drags you back. The city needs me. All right, let's get to it. All right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco el Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey, v, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's Coonies! Not <laughs> half bad. Too many donuts. Not done yet. Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Mm, quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! He's hit! He's hit! But next time, we gotta be faster. Out of the way, citizen. Obstructing justice is punishable by law. This is your last warning. Easy there, Captain. I'm just passing through. Lunch is ready. Mm, but mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting them win. They had fun. No, <laughs> they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you too. Hey, food's on the table. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too!
time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Grew up in Haywood. Whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss? Well, why hide it? Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks V and Uncle River make a good couple? Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views, right. This way, Fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. No need. Whoa! Okay, we like leaping. Okay! On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Brandy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Views to die for. Great spot indeed. Told you. Got something for you. Wow. <laughs> What's the occasion? Aiming to close a door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot? Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. That the pickup line you settled on? Because maybe heard three in my life that were worse. And... Just a little, I thought. Wouldn't mind hearing him. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Will you swallow? 
beautiful. <laughs> Are you serious? This guy and I, sitting in a diner. Five minutes, he gapes at me. Not a word. Then, drops that bomb. Oof. So, I'm at a bar, and this gonk taps me on a shoulder and says, Here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. Was there a third? Mm-hmm. Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird. He was... spilling. And then... he pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. You should have at least considered it. Okay, last one was good. You know, woman once told me I have sexy calves. That's it? Just like her boyfriend's. Before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. She was right, though. I do have great calves. I see what you're doing, River. And how am I doing? Do I stand a chance? Listen, River. If you expect this to evolve somehow. Don't stand a chance, do I? <laughs> Maybe we keep it at friends? Yeah. Sure. All right. We can still have a drink. Something strong's sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. To friendship. To friendship. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. We'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. <laughs> in the moon and there's still no cure for hangovers oh well, at least we had fun yesterday yeah um, but now i gotta roll promised joss i'd take her to see randy no rush either get your sea legs back take as much time as you need you sure you're good to drive <laughs> please former ncpd <clears throat> i'm a pro on hangover highway i'll be fine Ah, uh, apologize to Joss for me. We kind of dined and dashed yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? Oh, shit. Tell Randy hey. Will do. See you later, V.